Hey guys, how's everybody doing? What's so, up, world? What's up, world? So we just out and about. Uh, we had to run somewhere right quick. Y'all see, I'm in the middle of doing my hair in this side, and then I got, and I'm almost done. I don't have that much left, so I'll definitely be showing y'all the end result. Right, as I would always say, God is good, man. He woke us up this morning, man, and I hope everybody having a blessed day today. It's cloudy here. Uh huh. It's, it's pretty cloudy. Sorry, baby, you gotta fix that back. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty cloudy. But it's still a good day. It's still a good day. Sun trying to peep out. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If you ain't if you ain't woke up and you ain't in hell. It's a blessed day. I don't care if it was snow on the ground. Just got to make some snow shed. I mean, snow skis and, and keep it moving. I'll get you some snow dogs. <laughs> <laughs> to get to the store or wherever you need to go, baby. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But, uh, but, uh, as we would always Somebody say. Somebody painted on their building. That's freaking crazy. How did they even get up there? Man, you can't have nothing in this world, man. I want to go in there, too, because they, um, uh, you can't have nothing in this world, man. If it ain't, if it ain't, man, I'm telling you, boy, it's sad, man. It's sad you can't have nothing in this world. That on top of hard, the boy. building and put confetti up on top of their business building. Who does that? Like, graffiti. And this is on a main road, so it had to be like early, early in the morning when wasn't nobody and wasn't no, nothing moving and nobody was doing nothing. That's what, it, it, it just like, you know what I'm saying? It just like, man, I don't get it, man. No, you know, I just don't get how you, you can just go and destroy somebody else's stuff, man. I just want to rob them, take it from them, man. Like, it's crazy, man. People work hard for their stuff out here, man. I don't care mm -hmm. how you get it, what type of hustle you got, man. Mm -hmm. But taking other people's stuff, man, like, man, you can get the, you can get the same... You can get the same thing. You know what I'm saying? The same it, thing. Yeah. There's nothing in yeah. this world that somebody got that you can't work hard and get. It's crazy, man. I, you can get anything. Okay, you now, I, I, I understand when you're young and you haven't been taught. You know what I'm saying? But you know right from wrong, but you haven't been taught that because you might have, might not have had a father figure in, in, in a household like, like me. But you know that robbing is wrong. You know what I'm saying? You know that uh, taking from another person is wrong, man. Putting them in harm's way and stuff like that. But when you get older at a certain age, man, it's just some things you just know to cut out, man. You know what I'm saying? That you put away a childish ways, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and do grown folks things, man. Don't misunderstand me. You know what I'm saying? I got my days too. I'll be feeling like a kid. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't, I didn't really have a childhood like that. You know what I'm saying? But, but, um, you know, when I see shoes, sometimes I get excited. You know what I'm saying? Certain shoes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't knocking Jordans or nothing like that. But I don't, I don't, I, 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 I very seldom wear Jordans, man. But you know, like stuff like cars, man. Like I, I, I'm excited when I see cars, old school cars, man. I love old school cars. When they, and, and somebody put it together, man, they put it together right. And we call them slabs. But when you a slab, got to be completed. Paint, rims, bang, TV, and it's just a hobby thing. But when you become a family. A, a, a husband and you get a family man you know you don't you don't, you know you, it's good to have a slab but you know, for like certain days you know what i'm saying like a slab day or whatever but then you you got to put that away too because that's you know what i'm saying because when you become a family man sometimes sometimes you get the wrong attention yeah and that's the thing you see when, you, when the you, wrong attention you gotta ride it. with the you gotta ride with a pistol you know what i'm saying and, that, and i mean that, that, that now down in the day every day you have to ride with a pistol in these days right now bro you know what i'm saying don't misunderstand me you don't have to because you're living for the price. You don't put yourself in that position or that place. But sometimes you be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You see what I'm saying? But when you riding in a slab, man, you get all the wrong intentions, man. You know what I'm talking about? And then on top of that, a real grown, grown woman, she not that don't that that, that don't excite her. That don't excite her. A slab, rims, bank, they don't excite her, bro. So you gonna draw the wrong type of women. You know what I'm saying? I'm knocking nobody out there. I'm just saying from experience. You know what I'm saying? But but um. Um, it's, it's cool to have fun, man. It, it really is, man. Being a, being a man of God, man. Like like I thought I was I thought I was gonna be missing something like that, man. Like running the streets, you know what I'm saying? Drinking here, going going to people's houses and stuff like that, man. Was was fun. But when you get older, bro, you realize like, man, because you get you get tired of doing that type of stuff, man. You will realize like, man, I ain't, I ain't missing nothing. Being a Christian ain't boring, man. Like man, I ain't gonna lie. My life, man, I like the way it is, man. I got peace.
peace in my life. Oh, man. it's so peaceful. I ain't got to worry about nobody sucking the life out of me. I don't have to worry about uh, uh, um, don't, you know, somebody want need a favor. You know what I'm saying? Every time you come around, they, they you steady giving instead of instead of instead of receiving. Man, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to worry about none of that, man. I stay in my lane, mind my business. And don't get me wrong. The word says it's better to give than receive, but sometimes we want to receive too. Yeah, but you I ain't. I, I, anybody that know me, I know I ain't got no selfish heart, man. I'm willing to help anybody and everybody. But then, you know, when you start coming to the room of the Lord, man, it's like changing people, places, and things, man. That's just all to it. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, to each his own, man. I'm speaking for myself, so I don't want nobody out there to take it wrong. What I'm saying, they don't think I'm thinking I'm better than anybody, like I always say. But today is a blessed day, man. I ain't coming on here with no sad stories or none of that. So you can complain all you want to, nobody ain't gonna listen. So you can do all the complaining you want, cause God don't like complainers either. Don't say he sure ain't gonna listen. He sure ain't gonna listen. But uh, he'll hear you, here but he ain't gonna truck. listen. Here come my truck. Yeah, that's my truck. But claim that. Oh, I didn't already claim it. But uh, you know what I'm saying? I I just pray everybody out there, man, having a wonderful Pal last day. A palisade. Day, Is that what it's called? Haunt the palisade. Mm -hmm. Palisade. P a l i s a d e. Y'all, that's my that's oh. my uh, a 2020 or 2021. And just to let y'all, yeah, just to let y'all know, Honda got a house on wheels, man. Honda built a house on wheels. They just made it. Oh wow. And an 18 wheeler. A baby 18 wheeler, man. But you know what I'm talking about? They just, they just made it, man. And they also, and it's also not even expensive, man. It's like thirty-two thousand dollars for the house on wheels. It's laid. I mean, it's super laid. But uh, yeah. Not right now. So I just want to give a shout out to my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? My brothers, my sisters. You know what I'm saying? Praying for my enemies, man. I, I, I pray that I don't have that many. I don't have none at all. Cause God will blot out your past, but oh, yeah. you know I'm praying for those too, man. I don't wish bad on nobody. We don't wish bad on nobody. You know what I'm saying? The, my family, we don't wish bad on nobody. We hope everybody succeed in life. We hope everybody be prosperous. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And you I'm know, gonna show put my best foot forward. And there's there is not no limit of what God can do in your life. Amen. And also, man, I want to touch on this too. It, it's bad in every color. It's really some good white folks out there, man. Like, God have put some divine white people in our life. When I say divine, if, it, if anybody don't know what divine means, oh, uh, if anybody don't know what divine means, divine means people that bring positivity to your life, inspirational to your life. That's what divine means. So that's what, when I say divine, man, it's like people that wish the best for you, man. And when they come, they come with wisdom, knowledge. They come with love, compassion. They come with uh, no hate, no hate, no hating, no trying to outdo you. They know what they're going to do. They're going to put you on game. Like if they own a business, but they're going to say they're going to come with business-minded type of stuff. And what that do is rub off on you, just like you hang around negative people. Ne negative people. Uh, it rubs off on you, man. So if you, anybody ever noticed that, man, that's what happens, man. Like, if you hang around a lot of people that do, doing the wrong thing, man, and you know you're trying to change your life, if you hang around them, the bad seeds for a long time, if you're a follower, you're going to become what you hang around. You know what I'm saying? It's just like what you eat. You are what you eat. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I pray for everybody, man. I wish everybody the best, man, in life, man, and hope that you find your purpose. And, um, as y'all can see, I got my beautiful wife here. Half, uh, call her half hair today. She got half of it done, but when she get done, she gonna be a dom. Got my daughter back here, Darlene. What you trying to say? Ain't already done. Yeah, you a, you a dom right now, baby. Uh, you wanna say hi to him, Darlene? And I just wanna touch on another situation. Zoom. If any parent out there going through Zoom, Woo! I'm gonna definitely keep no, y'all in prayer. It's been a year. It's been over, over a year now, yeah, okay, man. that we've been doing this Zoom. Man, I respect the teachers. I respect, look, I used to be the yeah. one be like, man, the teachers ain't, man, they need to teach these kids better and teach them. Let me tell you something, man. Dealing with 20 kids in one classroom with different personalities, man, shout out to the teachers, man. Shout out. Shout, shout out. out to the teachers. And guess what? Ooh, Even at Zoom at home, man, I, I ain't no teacher, man. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't no teacher. But let me tell you something, man. These, this homework that these kids have coming in right now, it wasn't nothing like back in the days, bro. I, I promise you. So, I just want to say shout out to the parents, man, that's, 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 that's dealing with the Zoom with their kids, man. And 
got more than one, okay, y'all? Because we have one. I can imagine the parents that got two, three, four, five, y'all. Oh my gosh. I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's all you can say. I, I... Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, it, no. It, this ain't no. Like this supposed to be eight hours. This is over eight hours a day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? School only lasts eight hours. Hey, you know what I'm talking we about? We got her on a routine and she still gets up and act like. She don't she know what's forgot. going on. She done forgot. That's every how, day. Well, man. I'm not going to say every day. I'm going to say at least two or three times out of a week. Yeah. She do that. Yeah. You know what you got to do Monday through Friday and then yet and still. And we got it on a dry erase board. Her schedule. The time she gets on Zoom. And her chores. The, the chore. Everything. And yeah. yet and still, we still, she still come and ask, uh, Mom, what time was it? 10 or 10.15? So, you know, shout out to them parents, man. They got more than one, like she said. Because just dealing with one with Zoom is, whew, my Lord. Y'all see, that's why I ain't got no hair in the top. You see that? I done pulled it all out, put it on the dresser. <laughs> Hoping I get a hair and put back <laughs> When it's all over and done with. <laughs> when it's time for them to go back to school oh and go goodness, get some hair implants. It's shout out to the people, man that lost their job during the pandemic, man. And and God is still working in your life and you survived and still got faith in the Lord, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Because this time, this God this, is a provider, y'all. Through, through this he pandemic time, man, it's, it's been very difficult, man. For a I lot just read of that. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That's facts. Ain't that something? I like that. But you know, man, it's, it, it, I'm on the time. I'm on this time now, man. Of uh, you know, it's all about family, man, and, and surviving, man. Cause it's about survival mode then kicked in. You know what I'm saying? An overdrive. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm sometimes I, I I don't have that motivation. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't have that motivation on some days because the devil do try to work on your mind and your body and stuff like that. That's why I said, you know, it's time out, man. When you in, when when you think you still young and still can do what you used to can do, man. Trust me, when you get an age like that, I am, you'll start feeling it. You'll start. Yeah, feeling like it. he just so old, man. Forty-two. Wow. Yeah, and also in one video, I said I was forty-three, and I was so <laughs> serious. I was forty-three. I'm forty-three. You know, that's be, but, that's one thing because <laughs> when you when you don't like celebrate your birthday like exactly, that, exactly. like you know, back in the day, we used to go to the club. We used to have parties. We used to be drinking, doing all of that on our birthdays. And now we're just thankful to be alive. Yeah, so you tend, forget, for <laughs> you tend to forget, you tend to forget, I'll be forgetting my age. I'll be like, mm -hmm. am I 39 or 38? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And my mom used to always say this, man. <laughs> she said this right now to this day. I said, she said, man, you know what? When I, when I got older, she said, Man, I'm 73 or 74, and I and I I'd be like, man, Mama, stop playing. She said, boy, I, I got to, I got to kind of keep that keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm thinking she playing, but I'm 42, and I done lost count of how old I am, man, for real. But then when you're dealing with your household and your kids, and man, you forget about yourself, man. Oh yeah, you I think he the one that probably do those um, the things for your garden. Oh, Look who it is. This is Brenda. She must be off work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But man, I'm telling you, man, you know, it's 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 a cold, cold world out here. So it is. Lives. But I just thank God, man. I thank God he made me real wise of the things I went through, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I want to give a shout out to the people that I ran into on, along my journey in life, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I ran into some good people out there too, man. You know what I'm saying? Some some dudes that I that I looked at like my family. I mean, that is like my family. I ain't gonna say like, you know what I'm saying? Like my, you know what I'm saying? Family, but get it out, stutter and stand. Yeah, I, I, I choked up on that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that way. <laughs> but uh, oh. but uh, you know, God's still working on me, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just time out for foolishness, man. It really is. You know what I'm saying? So what y'all got planned today? We don't we don't got too much plan. Just gonna finish my hair up and um shoot. I really do nothing. 
you know, I, I, me and my wife, man, you know, my family, you know, our son, our son said we born, you know what I'm saying, he's 18, shout out to the military, you know what I'm saying, he's in the military making his career, making his way, thank God, you know what I'm saying, we love him to pieces, he our, he our other piece of the puzzle, but, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, he say we live a boring life because, because cause I'm the type of father, like, I'm not all out there, man, you know what I'm saying, listen to rap music and, you know what I'm saying? Doing trying, what? Trying young, wanna be cool. hip fathers you know what I'm do. saying? Because I'm a, I'm a father of parent before anything. I ain't your friend. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So I explain that dearly to him. I'm not your friend. I'm your father for anything. And uh, we can sit down and talk and keep it cordial, but you're not just going to talk no any kind of way to me. Or any, not to me, but any kind of conversation. So I'm, I mean, he, he said he's, he, he's, I'm not, to, not throwing him up under the bus because I know a lot of parents dealing with this right now. And uh, he, he, he says that, he wished that I could be the, be be more cooler because he want to be able to talk to me with any kind of conversation. You see what I'm saying? And uh, when you got God in your life, it's just certain lines you draw with your kids. Period. Don't let your kids get you sent to hell. Or change your environment. If you end up going to hell, God forbid, do it on your own. Yeah. Don't let somebody else come along. And you accept them doing the nonsense you know mm -hmm. that is not in the word of God or that you know Amen. that God do not agree with yep. and come in your household. You know, you know, you live a godly, uh, a godly life. No rap music, none of that yeah. cursing, yeah. no drinking, no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you allow your kids to come over and do all these things that you know yeah. that you don't live like and yeah. that you don't tolerate. Yeah. They're going to get you sent to hell. Don't let your kids do that. Put your foot down. Damn, and if they show that total respect, they're going to know not even to try it. Yeah. They're going to know not and, to try and, and it. And guess what? You ain't got to say, nah, I'm going to come back to my house. Because let me tell you something. Good and bitter don't run out. Sweet and bitter don't run out the same fountain, right? So either 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 they going to get ghosts and not want to come around like that, or they're going to keep coming around because they want that knowledge. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That right there bring demonic spirits to your house, too. Mm -hmm. And you know how these kids are living these days, man. Not 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 talking down on no kids or nothing, because I love them all, man. If I can change them, I, I, if I can change them, I would. Because I hate, I don't want to see no kid go to jail or end up dead. And we losing a lot of kids like that, you know what I'm saying? So if I can run across a kid and change his life, man, or, I mean, not change his life, but allow God to change his life, because God's the only one who can save him. You see what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, interact with him. You know, give him a rainbow word or something like that. And uh, I, would, I would do that. But... Kids these days, man, they, they they moving so fast, man. They just living for the moment. Yeah, they for moment kids. They not uh -huh. future kids, man. They don't uh -huh. look at not all of them. You, it's just a percentage of them. Yeah, you know what not I'm saying. All of them, yeah. It's a percentage of them. They don't look what they, about their future. They don't look about uh, where what I'm gonna be doing or if I'm gonna have this in two weeks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They yeah. and you're not supposed to. You're supposed to let today take care of itself. Right. Or you're supposed to worry about today and let tomorrow take care of itself. Yeah. yeah. But also. You know, you just want to think a little bit ahead so that you're not just for the moment mm -hmm. type of person, you know. Yeah. You're not yeah. supposed to plan ahead, but just kind of think in your mind. Uh, be 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 mindful of the future yeah. when you do things. And see, I, I tell my son all the time, man, I would tell any young black kid, all white kid, if they want to receive knowledge, man, I, I was like that, man. You know, I, I was like that. I had to have the best when I was out there, man. Like I, I wanted, draw, I wanted the J's on my feet, and I, I, didn't, I didn't think about. I'm trying to impress people, the world. You know what I'm saying? If I was a young dude, I, but I wouldn't talk how to, um, you know, manage my money. How to, um, man, you ain't got to do that, man. The George you spending for two hundred fifty dollars, man, on your feet. Put that up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Put that up for for a rainy day. See, I, cause, cause back then, back in the days, though, money was coming like. Like, like, like how water flow. You know what I'm talking about? You can go spend two hundred fifty dollars and make it right back. Boom. But then I, that two hundred fifty dollars I was spending, I could have put that up along with the two hundred fifty dollars I was still for the bank. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then I could invest in something, but I didn't, man. I, I had the money and the time to invest in something, man. I did a little couple of business, me and my wife. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? But uh, but uh, you you have to be led, man. By God, man, you know what I'm saying. Led by God. And if you're not led by God, it won't prosper. But so I tell my prosper. son this all the time, man, because I want him to take heed and not, not make the mistakes that I made. You know what I'm saying. So, but you just gotta keep praying for these for your kids, man, and these kids, man, because they living, they living, man, they living like they in a uh, time zone, like back in the future, a traveling uh machine. You know what I'm saying. So. Oh, they rented that. That her husband doing it. Oh, that's right. I know that's right, yes.
that's what you. That's Boy, what you they didn't have oh, to they dig out oh, the they, they, oh, they, they, right. Yeah, they didn't put it all the way on on top of their new fence, though. Yeah. I mean, the old fence. They probably gonna knock that. Yeah, down. they gonna knock it down. But that's dope, though. It is. But uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying and. You know, to those, man, let me say this, man, because I, I like I said all the time, I'm not a picture perfect. You know what I'm saying? I've I been, I, I done been down them roads, man, dark roads and all, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just about keeping your head up and staying strong, man, because, you know, God build winners, man. And you got to know in your heart that if God designed you, man, that it, it, God don't, you, have you ever heard God say he quit? Have you ever heard God say he tired? And you know, I'm pretty sure God is super tired because he take care of the universe. But you never hear God say he's giving up. Oh, I'm going to take my life. What would we do without God, man? I've been there, man. I've been there. Empty shell, man. I've been there. And that's how I know, bro. That darkness is real. It's real. But, uh, you know, to God be the glory, man. You know, he, you know, man, you know, I've been, our marriage, man. Let me say this about two people that's married out there. And I'm going to do, do a channel on this, man, because I'm speaking from experience. You know, my, I send my wife through a lot of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just being truthful right now. I'm not gonna say everything because it ain't, it ain't everybody's business. Because I done left it at the altar. But uh, to those man, dudes that's that's married, man, and going through troubled times right now with their marriage, man. Let me say this: the devil, he he got power, man, and he he's here to he here to destroy marriages, man. Hear me out. He here to destroy marriages. You feel me? But let me say this, man. And I'm just speaking from experience. If you, if, if you uh, love that woman, man, just listen to me. If you love that woman, man, it's not gonna be not a negative word come out your mouth. You understand me? Because you're gonna know that you have a mom and daughter. And I said this once before, but I'm gonna do a channel on this. I'm not gonna hold y'all up today on this right now. But I just wanna put this out here, man. If she, if it's, if your marriage is worth fighting for, man, you fight for that woman, man. You fight for that woman because God, when you married her, bro, you said I do do everything, everything. So it's going to get hard times, man, hard where you think you're going to be able to go out and get another woman and that's going to fix your problem. You ain't doing, you didn't do it. You, you haven't done anything else but put a door in your life, dog. And I'm speaking from experience, bro. So, but you can repent and turn away from your wicked ways, man. You can do that. God is, is an unforgiving. He's, he, he, he's an unforgiving God. He, he will forgive you for everything that you have done if you come to him and repent truly from the heart. But I'm going to say this, man. If you ever think the grass is green on the other side, bro, let me tell you something. That's a lie. That's a lie that the devil told you. Because you can always fix what's at home, man. Always. Because you got to think about them kids, man. I done seen people go 40 years in marriage, bro, and, and, and divorce like it ain't nothing. Because sometimes she'll go find her dude thinking that's the right one. Because, yeah, let me say this. They're going to want you when you got somebody. That's how the devil do it. They'll dress, the devil always going to dress it up real pretty. Real pretty. And he gonna you're going to go out there and see this woman. That's the woman of your dreams, bro. And you got your wife at home. And she might have stopped. She's so tired that she might have stopped looking pretty for you. You understand me? But that's how the devil. Look, man, he'll deceive your eyes, man. I'm telling you. You'll start looking at your wife like, man, she don't even dress up no more. She don't even do this no more. You know what I'm saying? So the devil got you tricked right now, bro. Because I'm going to tell you something. You got God in your eyes, man. Love is unconditional. She, you got to put yourself in her shoes. Like, man, she's a mother. She running the household. She the queen of the of the castle. Then on top of that, you got to put yourself in her shoes. What she go through as a wife. But we so selfish as men. Men that... We let the devil deceive us all the time, man. And I'm gonna do a channel on this because this is very important, man. This is very important to know, man. If you love something, you never hurt it, man. You'll never hurt it. Yeah, you're gonna have differences because that's opposite of track. But you gotta know God is the glue to your marriage, man. And y'all will be on one accord if you're chasing the Lord, man. If you're chasing the Lord, you give him your whole heart, man. That woman that you married, it's gonna be the apple of your eye. And that's that's on everything, man. So y'all remember that. Okay? So. All right, that's a good word for you. Every bit of that is the truth, and, and, and something that we didn't been through. Yeah. So we ain't really, we ain't never gonna talk on something we ain't never experienced. Me. I can tell you that. Like I said, I ain't gonna never throw my, nobody else up under the bus, but myself. And that's mm -hmm. why. That's what this page is about. Truth, truth. But I'm not gonna tell you everything true because I didn't take it to the law and I leave it there. But just knowing people, I know some people going through the same situation, man. Not that we going through it right now, but I'm just saying, like, have have been going through it and stuff like that and want to give up. 
But it's easy to give up, Ooh, man. It's cold, man. It, it's easy to give up, man. It's still cold. So those out there that's still married, man, and still fighting, man, keep fighting, man. Because there ain't nothing out here. You can fix whatever you got at home, bro. Even if you got to take it to God or take it to a mechanic shop. You can fix them. Or fix your marriage. You know what I'm saying? One of the two, man. One of the two. You understand me? So, you got anything to add, honey? Oh, no. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. You can run home. You can run home. Get in, darling. But anyway, man, um, you know, I don't want to talk too much, um, you know, and bore y'all people, man, but this is the life of the clocks, man. You know what I'm saying? I used to be, like I said, I, I'm going to tell you something, man. God have really formed a lot of stuff out of my life. Like I said, man, I used to not even go by my governor, man. But I ain't shame with nothing no more, bro. I, I ain't going to say it's too much of shame. I used to try to be, you know, secretive type of person, bro. But that ain't who God had me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because when you die... Guess what's gonna be on your obituary? Your your governor. <laughs> it ain't gonna be all them different names. It ain't gonna be all them different names, man. You understand me? So you gotta get it right right now, man, before it's too late, man. For real. Mm-hmm. But God is good, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying for everybody, man. They ain't gonna even lie, man. Neighbors and all. You feel me? Uh uh, people, industries, homeless, man. Uh everybody, man. You gotta have a willing heart, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm about to go back in here and finish my hair. So, um, y'all be blessed. And always remember, like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye, guys. Have a blessed day.